Hi, my name is Alderin Ordell, and I'm the owner of WaterForLifeUSA.com. We are the exclusive distributors for EOS water ionizers, so if you want to take a look at our selection, please visit us at www.WaterForLifeUSA.com. This is the brand new EOS DNA water ionizer. Even the box is advanced, as you can see it's a flip top box with foam padding to keep your unit safe. Inside the box with your EOS DNA water ionizer you'll find the stainless steel hose, screws for mounting the unit to the wall should you choose to install it that way, power cord, manual, quarter inch tubing, water pressure reducer for those who live in high water pressure situations, an acid water line mount, cold water line diverter valve, faucet diverter valve, and pH drops for testing the pH of your water. Installation of the EOS DNA water ionizer is simple. Once I've removed the aerator from my faucet head, all I have to do is take the faucet diverter valve supplied with your EOS DNA water ionizer, put it right into the rivets, and screw to the right. Next, I'm going to take the nut and put it over the quarter inch tubing that came with your EOS DNA water ionizer. And then I'm simply going to take the quarter inch tubing and put it over this nub on the diverter valve. And then once I've done that, I'm going to screw in the nut over the rivets. I find that an easy way to remove this plug is to get your thumb and your finger and simply squeeze them between the blue ring and the plug so that the blue ring is being pushed in while the plug is being pulled out. You can also use a butter knife to push in that blue ring and pull out the plug at the same time. Next you're going to want to cut your quarter inch tubing so that it has enough length to reach the end underneath the EOS DNA water ionizer. You also want to leave some slack so that you're able to move your EOS DNA water ionizer around in case you need to clean or something like that. So, you know, add about six inches more than the length between the diverter valve and the end so that you have some room to maneuver it and then simply cut. Go ahead and press in that quarter inch tubing into the out and then follow that tubing along to the built-in guides here and you're just going to want to snap that tubing right into the guides. Now that I've got my inline and my outline snapped into place into their guides, I'm going to find the outline and I'm going to move this outline to this suction cup, this acid line mount suction cup and I'm going to stick it into the suction cup and leave just enough of that tube sticking out of the suction cup so that I can use that part that's sticking out to collect the acid water in case I want to fill up a bottle or soak my sponges in it or some other use. Next I'm going to take the power cord and plug it into the bottom of the, of the EOS DNA water ionizer and then plug it into my nearest outlet. Operation of the EOS DNA water ionizer is very simple. To make alkaline water, all I need to do is turn on my faucet, switch over the diverter valve, press the alkaline button, select which alkaline level I want, one, two, three, or four, and then just press the on button. Because this is the first time using this brand new unit, it's going to run a cleaning cycle. And it's letting me know not to turn off the power while it's doing that. So it automatically turned on and you can see it's cleaning itself. After a few seconds it'll stop this cleaning cycle. Cleaning cycle is now complete. I can choose which alkaline level I want. Go ahead and press the on button. And it's as simple as that.